Hi, good evening. Nice. What happened to you? Not in problem, not in not in problem. The road. No, no problem with traffic is ah easy traffic. Yes, yes, it's good. Yesterday is different. Terrible. No, no. Yesterday heavy traffic. I think not like online. Yes, no. yes. But no, is it was different. Yes. Will you finish? That one. Yeah, the, the, the section one. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay. No problem. The teacher, uh, what happened? House. What happened with the teacher? <laughs> teacher is angry. Uh, <laughs> where, uh, where is it? <laughs> hello, hello, hi. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening. So far, good. good evening, teacher. Hello, excellent. Very good. Guys, um, I had a problem with my internet. That's why I didn't have my camera on. But yeah, now, now it's all good. It's all fine. <clears throat> Just, guys, I have a question. So today, so we are in pre-advanced two. Basically, today is the class number six, I want to say. Today is the class number six. I think it is. Yes. Okay, guys. By yeah. now, you need to have completed the section one and section two. Not only section one. Section one and section two. Okay? We need to have those two. And by the end of the second week, so class eight, you have to have section three yeah section three for second week so today we're gonna work on that if you have any problems if you have any questions you can tell me and we're gonna solve those problems because you know that we we need to be ahead with the platform so we need to complete the platform as soon as we can because if we don't do it we're gonna have problems by the end of the module. As you know, we have to do a lot of paperwork and things like that. Okay, now, yesterday we were, struck, we were talking about the infinitive clauses and phrases, but mostly, <laughs> mostly we were talking about the passive voice. I know that it has been a little bit difficult to go with the passive voice, okay? But yeah, we need to we need to practice that. Now, guys, let me check here. I'm just gonna explain the topic we have for today. And when we finish that topic, okay, we're gonna go through the platform reviewing the exercises because I need you to complete the platform today. I mean the platform section one and section two today. Now the, can you write the date, please, in the chat? Remember to send it privately to Inglés Corporativo. So it's only me, the one that can see the date. Today, remember that it's not TH. Today is not a TH. Today is different date. So send it to the chat. I want to see. Okay, let me see. Correct, Adriana, good job. 
Marcos, correct. Good job. Correct. Marielos, pero Marielos ya se le envió a todos. <laughs> Marielos, you have to choose inglés corporativo. So I'm the only one. Sorry, I don't know why. Wow. What? <laughs> I don't know. So, en enviar a o send to, le tiene que dar um, inglés corporativo. Okay. Yes, okay, no worry, it's okay. Okay, yes, you're getting better with the date. So, yes, we're going to go with that. Can you help me reading the date, please, Alex Hako? Ex Alex Jaco o Alex Jaco. No, no es, no escucho. Tienes activado el audio. Okay. My, my name is Alex. My nickname is Jaco. Ah, okay. That's not your last name. Okay, last name. Ah, okay. <laughs> nickname es como apodo. Oh, last name. Okay. Okay, okay last name. I need you to read the date. <clears throat> okay. The, today is Tuesday, March 3rd, 22. Excellent. Thank you very much, Alex. Um, ba -ba -ba -bam -ba -bam. Luis Aguilar, can you help me reading the topic for today? Thursday, uh, March. No, 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 the topic, the topic. Pronunciation, intonation, and question of choice. Thank you. So yes, guys, as you know, when we, when we speak in English, we need to be really careful with intonation. For example, if you speak like, it's, it's understandable that when we are trying to learn or when we are learning, we don't show feelings or emotions when we are talking about the, uh, the second language. So for example, we are like, I want a hamburger. So you don't show the feeling that you really want a hamburger because you are thinking, how can I say that in English? So your mind is busy on thinking and your mind is not showing the feelings. So intonation is one of the most important feelings that you need to show in English because intonation talks about the questions or the intonation, for example, when you have an exclamation. So intonation is very important. When you have a question and you say it normally without intonation, then you are like speaking about a sentence you are not doing the intonation. For example, I said, are you my students? Are you my students? Are you my students? That doesn't show any intonation. But if I say, are you my students? That shows intonation. So what you need to do in English is to try to show that intonation because it's very, very, very important. So viendo aquí, guys, que se me ve acabar el rayón que me di. Anyways, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, so... Intonation. What is it, Marcos? It's one kiss. It's one what? One kiss. It's, yeah, I wish. I wish it was a kiss. No, it's not. It, it was with my nails. I was like doing this, trying to scratch, and then my nail was like broken. So, ya le ha pasado eso como están los bebés, que las uñas quebradas, they do this, and yeah. I know, I know. It, it, it hurt. Teacher. I what think teacher, it was a cat. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like a cat thing. No, it's not a cat. Y no se veía tanto en la mañana, ahorita se me va más. Creo que cascaron, el cascaroncito ya. Anyways, anyways, that's not the topic. <laughs> We're talking about intonation. So, intonation is basically show your feelings or show the feelings when speaking a second language. Because it's very difficult to do so when you're thinking about the first language and then translating in your mind and saying it in the second language. But intonation, it's very important, like I'm telling you. 
But before we go with that, we're gonna watch the intro video for section three, and then we're gonna go with intonation. As well, I'm gonna talk about would rather and would prefer, because that's another topic that we're gonna see today. Those are like to show options or to say that I will do something instead of another thing because I prefer to do it. Okay, but anyways, let's go with the first topic that we have right now here. And Ready to watch this new intro video? Try your best to understand what they are talking about. Good luck. Ballet to ballroom and salsa to swing. Learning to dance is one of today's hottest trends and tango dancing is the hottest of them all. Tango fever has spread all over the world. Hi, I'm Kevin Kane and once a month people come here to the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts to learn tango. Hi, how's your tango lesson going? Oh, it's super fun. So why did you decide to take a tango class? I was just interested in dancing. And a lot of our friends come here. What's the best way to improve your dancing? Just by going to a tango club. And by practicing hard. Too. How did you learn to dance? By coming to class. And why did you decide to take tango lessons? Because I wanted to keep fit and have fun at the same time. Well, I took some lessons and I come here to practice. So what's a good way to improve your dancing? By practicing with a guy, but you have to find a good partner. Now we're going to talk to a tango instructor, Uche. Hi. Hi. Why do you think tango is so popular? I think tango is popular because it's very exotic and it's also very challenging for people. And once people learn something that they find challenging and it's very exotic, I think they feel very rewarded. Step six, back, collect, seven, and then instead of collecting, you actually switch your weight. What do you recommend for people who want to learn tango? I would recommend starting with group classes or private classes. And after you've learned the basics of tango, what's a good way to improve your moves? By going out dancing with the people that you've taken the lessons with, practicing at home, listening to the music, just feeling very comfortable with the music and then going out dancing again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How long have you been coming here? I've been coming here for about six years. Why? Because I love tango. And what is it about tango that you love so much? I think it's got great rhythm. I think it's got passion. It's a fun type of dance. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn to tango? A lot of people don't think they can dance until they get out here and try it. I think dancing starts by taking the initiative. Take a class. Do you prefer taking lessons in a studio or going out somewhere like this? I prefer going out and dancing. There's a different energy. It's more social. But there's nothing wrong with taking lessons. I recommend it. Why do you think tango is so popular? You can grow into it. You let your body move to the music and you create a dance with someone. And it's relaxing once you learn it. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn tango? It depends on how you learn. Some people learn best by taking classes. I learn best by watching and listening to the music and then getting brave and trying it a little. You know, learn by doing and practicing. Okay, I'm ready to take the plunge. How do I get started? It's not too difficult. Take this arm behind my back, this one up, and just start walking. That's perfect. <laughs> Try step to the side. Good. And then step back. Now side again. Hey, this is a lot of fun. You should try it. This is Kevin actually dancing tango from the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> Okay, did we understand everything about the video or do you need to watch it again? 
Did you think you're not? Uh, watch, watch, watch it again. again. Watch it again, Milton says. Oh. Si me escuchan bien, guys. O oh, hay problema yes. de internet. So, so, teacher. Sure. Yo lo escuché. Good, good. teacher. Good. Vaya, si, so algunos, good. si algunos wow, me escucharon good. bien y otros risados, el problema es de los que me escucharon mal. <risa> Porque si fuera el mío, todos me hubieran escuchado mal, ¿verdad? Si fuera el mío, si fuera. Ya. Sí, hubo una parte frisada, el resto sí estuvo bien. Ok, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you the link of this video so you can watch it completely, right? It's not without any problems. Just wait a second, I'm going to send it to you. Okay, there you go. There you have it. Can you see? Okay, in the chat, it, it, it is in the chat. So who is on a computer who, so you can help me share the video in the breakout rooms? So who's on a computer? Me, teacher. Okay, so Yasmin is going to help me. Gerardo Rivera is going to help me. Okay, you two, you two are going to help me, okay, guys? And when you finished doing that, watching the video, I want you to answer these two questions. The first question is, what are they learning? Do you like to dance? Will you like to dance tango? Why do you think tango is a popular dance? Okay, so when you finish, take a screenshot of this, please. I, when you finish watching the video, I need you to answer these questions, okay? Oh, 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 and I, I'm, I'm missing one, sorry. What reasons do the people mention to learn tango? So what reasons do they have to learn tango? Or why do they think it's fun to learn tango? Okay, so try to do this. So watch the video and when you finish the video, I want you to answer these questions, but I don't want you to answer these questions like writing the questions in a notebook. No, it's not that. I want you to practice the questions with your classmates. I want you to speak with your classmates. I want you to discuss these questions. It's a speaking activity, not a writing activity, okay? Speaking okay. activity. Okay, perfect. Now let's go. And you told me Gerardo Rivera and Jasmine are on computers, right? So they are going to help me with that. Nobody else is in a computer because I think I need three rooms, not two. Nobody else? Computer? Hello? Teacher, do you have repeat uh, last question? Okay, you want me to... ¿Quiere que la muestre la pregunta? Yes. Ahí está. So, nobody else is in a computer, guys? Or you don't want to help me? Me, me teacher. Henry. Okay, thank you, Henry. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So, Henry... But, uh... But uh, 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 I don't know. I uh, uh, cher charging the the green shop the the screenshot. Screen. Mm. Okay. Sorry, Alex. Alex, you are on. A, okay, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. So we're gonna go with Alex. Thank you, Henry. Anyways, thank you. Um, Jasmine, it's gonna be in a breaker room. Um, Alex in another room. And then the other person who is going to help me is Gerardo, right? Gerardo. Gerardo, Alex, and Jasmine. Excellent. There we go.
Teacherra. Please, uh, I stay out the the group. Why? Why uh, I I don't select the option. Ah, okay, okay. So you need to join the group. Yes. Okay. Bye. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Maritza. Hello, Maritza, what happened? Maritza?
Este es a pom, una pom, pom. The next question is, do you like to dance? Uh, Miguel, cuando... Number two cuando no, is... Sorry, perdón, perdón, que les estoy interrumpiendo. Pero Miguel, cuando no esté participando, eh, desactive el audio porque yo no sé si hay una interferencia ahí donde está usted. Porque siempre se escucha como con interferencia el audio. Okay. Y si no, intente estar en otro lado, así puede. Pero si no puede, solo cuando ya no esté participando usted, apague el audio. ¿De acuerdo? Thank you. Okay. Here, one question. I'm sorry. Yeah, Luis, tell okay. me. Uh, uh, the answer is video or personal opinion? The answer only for the last question is in the video, but the other ones are personal opinions. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, what are they learning? Is, uh, en público, entendí, y algo otro lo pedía en privado. Yes. Ok, thanks, guys. Yes, they said they need to practice, and uh, some maybe say, said that they were practicing five, uh, six years, long time to learn how to dance tango. Maybe I think it is not easy to learn it because people in the video was uh, saying that they they had a lot of uh, a lot of time learning how to dance tango mm -hmm. it's maybe it's a complicated uh, kind of dance the movement are so complicated because sometimes they are it's not easy then doing a yeah. uh, movement like caballos like horses and, yeah yes Um, idea, another one. Glenda and Jose Manuel, what do you think? The last question. Yeah, about the last yes. question. Yes. But the reason. <laughs> I don't remember uh, how, what people said. Don't watch, don't watch this part. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I couldn't see the video, but uh, tango is a special dance. Yes. Mm, maybe for me it could be. Yes. What type I, of, I, of I, rhythm? I like, I like dance. Uh, I like dance everything rhythmic. You have one favorite rhythm? Rhythm or mm, yeah, my favorite, my favorite um, ¿cómo es que se dice? Ay, se me olvidó. <laughs> my favorite genre is uh, tropical. Tropical, uh, yes. like merengue, uh, and like the salsa, second, and the, yes, like and, cumbia. Yeah. But, but my favorite. My favorite fresh place is salsa. Ah, okay, oh. me too. Yes. Okay. okay, and Adriana, do you like to dance? Any specific? No, <gasps> no again. <laughs> yeah, what? I love dancing. I think that is one of the things that I enjoy the most. Uh, specifically when I go to different parties or uh, in December. <laughs> yes. I guess.
El gris y azul. Drink a little bit of water, Jasmine. <laughs> Don't choke. Don't choke. I made a tecito, a tea, because, you know, I'm teaching all the morning. Mm. And then I teach in the afternoon online. Then I have another class from 5.30 to, no, from 4.30 to 5.30. Another one from 5.30 to 6.30. And then again with you. So I'm always speaking. So now, right now, I had a really, really, really sour throat. So I had decided to drink a little tea. <clears throat> Is your third class of the day? No. <laughs> it's like my 11th class of the day. Wow. Wow. It's because in the morning I work at a public school. <clears throat> um, uh -huh. 11? When you sure, come uh, here is... When you come in here, uh, this class, your throat is. Yeah. And today. What's the name of the school? It's the name. It's, it's a school here in Usulután. It's in a canton. It's called Canton Los Esperanza. So it's Complejo Educativo Canton Los Esperanza. Wow. Oh. But the students are so lucky because they're learning good English. They don't know that. Glenda, believe me when I tell you, they don't know that. I wish they knew. I wish. And I always tell them, you know, in the future, you're going to try to learn English and it's going to be difficult or it's going to be expensive. And they are like, nah, whatever. So today was a really difficult day because <clears throat> with ninth grade, they are so terrible, but so terrible that I had to speak really strong really strong to them and I don't like to be like that I like to be the fun mm -hmm. teacher and the good teacher but when the students are young they try to take advantage of that they don't appreciate it they try to take advantage that toman a ventaja de eso. so mm -hmm. now I had to be like please then you need to do this and then I was speaking so loud and after that all the students were so quiet because mm -hmm. I don't know, sometimes I don't like to be like that. I like to be like, hey, you can do this, you can do that. Let's try to learn. Mm -hmm. Or I like I speak to you guys, but they don't understand. They are little ones. So it's difficult sometimes, really difficult, believe me. So that's why my my voice today and my throat today are not so good. Okay. Because thank it, it was thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah, it was a difficult day, <laughs> believe me, when I tell you it was a difficult day. But anyway. You can see with other, with other, other questions. Okay. <laughs> other <thing. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I have my tea and a little bit of um, honey because the honey is good for the throat, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's why I like to teach classes online because when I teach classes online, I feel special and I feel like I do something. And when I teach classes in the school, it's like, they don't want to learn. I try to do it, but they don't want to. So I like to be here in the classes. I do this. Actually, I do this for fun because I really enjoy speaking with you and improves my level because I'm not teaching only basic English. I'm teaching advanced English now. Anyways, out of the topic. <laughs> Let's go back to the topic. I heard right now at my students in night rate. En la escuela les encanta hacer eso, preguntarme sobre mi vida. A ellos no les hablo nada. They like to do that <laughs> para no tener clases, dicen. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I heard in the breakout rooms that you are really good dancers. You like to go to parties. You like to go to dance. So I, it's a really good group. If we were in the classrooms, because when I have students in the classrooms, I actually have a group in, in the weekends, on the weekends. I go to San Salvador on the weekends and I have a, press, a, a group in, in, in the classrooms. So we go. And when, I, when I'm like that in the groups, I like to dance with my students and we play some videos and we dance and we do stuff. So maybe you will be a really good dancing group. 
right? <laughs> because I heard that you like to dance. Perfect. Now, guys, here in the next part, we're going to listen to the pronunciation. Reduction. Okay. Sorry, I have a question. Do you like um, to dance? I do <laughs> like to dance. I do. I really do love to dance. What is your general favorite? <laughs> no. Bachata. <laughs> Reggaeton. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Bachata. Bachata. I don't like. Concert. I don't, yeah. I dance. couldn't get my tickets for that concert. Dance anyway. with Bad Bunny. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. Bad Bunny. <laughs> I tried. I tried to get tickets. You know, that's about things. We like different things, but it wasn't, it was not possible. But I like to dance maybe every single gen gender. Gen yeah. The only one that I don't like, or the only two that I don't like is bachata. I don't know why, but I don't like it. And I don't like banda. Rock and roll. Yeah, I love rock and roll. I love. I go to one, two, three, y todo el mundo para la pista. Yes, of course, I love it. Yes, it's really good. But only banda and bachata. No, no, that's not for me. Vaya, no sean como los estudiantes de la escuela. Don't dance, but, oh, but only listen. But uh, banda. Mm, no, you know what? Is there something about the tuba? That I don't like it. I feel like all the, the the banda music is with that tuba, boom, 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 and I don't know. <laughs> I I just don't like it. But I do respect that, that we have to learn that. I do respect that other people like banda, and that's okay, right? Eso no habla de ustedes como personas. That's only different likes. Si todos fuéramos iguales, imaginan, eh, it will be boring, right? But it's a good thing that we like different music. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go here, the reduction. You, this is a short video. This is not a really long video, it's really short. So we're gonna watch that and then we're gonna do some exercises to practice this. Hi, making the right intonation will help you sound natural when speaking. We want you to notice the intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? So guys, in this case, we're given two choices. So if you pay attention right there to the pronunciation, given two choices, <clears throat> the person makes an emphasis on the second choice. So for example, would you rather dance or play soccer? Did you hear that kind of intonation? Like they go down and they go up again. So would you rather read a book or watch a movie? Did you hear that kind of intonation? So for example, let's yes, see. Yes. So those are the ones that they say like, this is intonation in, quest in questions of choice. It means that you have options to choose. Not only you are going to answer yes or no, but in these questions you have options. For example, here it says, would you rather, uh -huh, right there, here, you see it? Right there, is there. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Now, what I want you to know is that it's not okay, the strong voice and the low voice, the intonation doesn't mean that you have to go like, would you rather study fashion or hospitality? It's not like that. It's really, really not that strong, but you can hear it. Would you rather study, fa study fashion or hospitality? You see, it's not that strong, but it's there and it makes a difference. So <clears throat> help me reading the first one. Let's see the ones with the camera off. Gabriela Garcia, help me reading this one. 
Okay, teacher. Uh, would you rather take broadcasting or economy? Excellent. Thank you very much. Luis Aguilar, help me with this one. Luis Aguilar. Okay. Uh, play the guitar or the violin? Can you can you read it again? Could you please? Because I didn't hear the beginning. Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see. Adriana, help me with number three. Okay. Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Marcos. Do you prefer to study in the day? Or at night. Excellent. Good job, guys. You did a really, really good job. Perfect. So, yes, it's only that you have to go up in the first choice and then starting start going down in the second choice. That's the only thing you have to do to do a perfect intonation in questions of choice. Remember, this is about questions of choice. Now, talking about questions of choice. We're going to, I'm going to teach you right now how to make questions of choice. Like, would you rather or do you prefer? So we're going to go with that topic right now. I'm going to play the video and then we're going to discuss a little bit about it. We're also, yeah, we're also close to the time. But anyways. Nice to have you back. In this section, you will learn how to use would rather and would prefer. Both are used for choices. Stay around, play the audio program, and try to identify the difference between those two. Would rather and would prefer. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I'd prefer to study film. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a choir. I'd rather not join a choir. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a choir. I'd prefer not to. I will begin with this explanation telling you the would rather and would prefer mean the same thing. As we already told you, but we want to be emphatic, both are used with choices. In case you didn't identify the difference between those two, we will explain it now so you see there's a slight difference in their structure. Would rather plus not plus base form of verb. I'd rather learn English than German. I'd rather not study at night. Would prefer plus not plus infinitive. I'd prefer to learn English. I'd prefer not to study on weekends. Note, both are followed by not in the negative form. And just in case you're wondering how to answer in short form, this is how. I'd rather or I'd rather not. And if you're using prefer, this is how to answer properly. I'd prefer to, I'd prefer not to. Okay, guys, here the most important part will be what she said. It's not different. They both mean the same thing. It's an option, giving option. Will you rather or will you prefer? But the most important thing will be in the grammar point. Because in the grammar point, as you can see, rather is followed by, a, by the base form of the verb. So it's immediately after rather, we will write the verb just like that. And with prefer, we don't write the base form of the verb we write the infinitive of the verb. So I prefer to. Remember that the infinitives are the verbs that go with the to at the beginning. So before the verb. So that's the main difference between those two that I will rather 
it's followed by the, by the base form of the verb. And I prefer it's followed by to, or I mean the infinitive and the verb. Do you have any questions about this? No, teacher. No, I don't think I don't think this is no. this is a really complicated topic. This is actually one of the easiest topics that you can have. Yeah. Compare <laughs> to the passive voice. Now we're thinking about the passive voice. That was a difficult topic, and we had some problems discussing that. But this one is not so difficult. And um, the contraction here, I'd, is the contraction for I would, right? You know that instead of saying, I would prefer to learn English, you say, I'd prefer to learn English. And when you're asking the questions to give the option, you're only on, you're only going to use both or, use with or, for example, here, here, for example, would you rather take a media class or a health class? This one, if you do it with preferred, will be, would you prefer to take a media class or a health class, okay? So would you rather take or would you prefer to take. to take, correct? Because we're using the infinitive. Okay, I want you, just right now before we go, send me one question with would you rather and send me one question with <laughs> would you prefer, and that's it. Just send me that to the chat. Excellent, Marcos. Very good, Gabriela. Perfect, Jasmine. English. <laughs> okay. Romantic music, romantic, romantica. I would prefer, uh, I would rather listen or, or then salsa. I would prefer to go to the beach, Adriana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. Between the cinema and the beach, yeah. You know, here in Usulután, I live like 40 minutes away from the beach, like Espino Beach. I don't know if you have heard of that one. And I think, in my opinion, it's one of the best beaches in the in 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 El Salvador because it doesn't have a lot of rocks. It's really how would you say like flat? Exactly, it's really flat, and you can you can go and you can go into the into the ocean. And it's not so dangerous. It's always dangerous, but it no, it's not so dangerous. Not and deep. I, what is it, Gerardo? It's not deep. It's not deep, correct. Is deep. It's not deep. And I like to go there on the weekends. For example, on Saturday, I went and I like to go there just to buy a minuta because I love the minutas there. They are so, so good. Yeah, and then at the end of the day, like at four or five, yeah, we go into the ocean. It's it's so peaceful. So all the stress goes away like that. <laughs> I remember teacher that I, I don't ten years ago I went to the Spino. And beach. did you like it? 
Yeah, it was awesome. But uh, when my sister and I went to the to the beach, I remember that we found a mantarraya. Oh, really? <laughs> there on the yeah, so we started running very fast <laughs> away from the, the beach. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we were uh, scary, right? Yeah, and you were little, uh, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I remember. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Adriana. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was uh, 10 years old, I think. So yeah, you were little. Gerardo, you were saying? Uh, see, uh, one question. There are place to stay, like a hostel? Or yeah, hotel. yeah, there are a lot. There okay. are. But the only problem is that the Spino Beach has a particularity that some, um, with the years, it goes, like it goes in to the, so, Mm, what I want to say, like some years ago, there were some buildings close, like in front of the beach, but this beach is really plain, so it's really flat, doesn't have rocks, so sometimes the ocean will get into the buildings, so what they did is to build the buildings a little bit far from the beach, so they are not next to it, but yeah, there are a lot of them, so you Good. You see the street, and then after the street, there there are hotels. Yeah. Okay, guys. I saw your examples. This is nine oh five. It's already time to leave, but I will see you guys on Monday, right? Tomorrow we don't have classes. I will see you on Monday, right? Thank you. Okay. Please try to thank work you. on the platform. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Have a good okay. weekend. Bye. 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 Good evening. Bye. 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 See you on Monday. Bye.